in a traditional sponsorship, in, because in effect you're buying an ad, you, you can control what's said about you, you can control the way you're portrayed. I think in social, the way things are going, you know, you can see that that's not necessarily the, what people want to hear. That's not the content that the audiences want to see. The transparency is critical. I think what you get is a, uh, an opportunity there if you talk about the transition of sponsorship as it's going forward, the modern sponsorship if you like, um, for a start it's less about a sponsorship and more about a partnership. It's about a couple of brands getting together or a couple of industry partners and figuring out what they can build together, figuring out something that's better than necessarily something they could build on their own. So really what it comes down to is the sponsorship potentially is an area of excitement and risk, but the rewards can be great. Provide a rights holder in um, to look at your brand in a different way, to kind of make a new and interesting and very, very credible recommendation about what you do. Get them to look inside your product and, and the, the partnership of what comes out of that should be a new perspective on your brand. I think that that's really the kind of content that would strike a chord because if it rings true, that is the kind of thing people want to, want to see in their inbox. That's the kind of thing they want to look at a digital platform. They kind of, they'll read it, you know. It's a new perspective on a brand that they think they trust but they're not quite sure from your advertising that that is the true picture of you, you know. Get someone else involved, get a new audience involved and they look at you from a different way. Uh, you've just upped your credibility factor.